Hello and welcome to the Master of Unlocking podcast, episode two, I believe. The, today is March twelfth, two thousand seventeen. <laughs> March o twelve. March o twelve. I lost my mind. Okay, that was Caleb being a smartass. <laughs> Uh, Jason, across from me. Hi. Uh, so we've got a lot going on. There's a ton of games out. We've got a console launch out, and holidays are right around the corner. Oh wait, that's no. It's just what it feels like. <laughs> I this mean, this year's moving fast. It's it's uh, yeah. I mean, we're in March October. Well, yeah. This is such a weird time that we've got so many games out right now, at, and a and a console launch that it feels like the holidays. Um, and then we're gonna end up in a dead lull of summer, but um. Let's just get right into. Um, does the summer look bad? Summer looks bad. Uh, does in it? spots. I don't know. There's like I two or three look. games I would say that are worth looking at, it's at least to have a release dates. Red Dead's the fall, right? Red Dead's fall, which is Rockstar usually goes in the summer lately. Late right? summer, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So at this point, the only thing I think we've got beyond like April is beyond, uh, beyond, beyond two souls, beyond two two souls, <laughs> beyond two 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 souls. Yeah, it's all about a dead souls. ballerina. Hot, hot. Um, no, so yeah, the um, yeah, I think really like what June has Tekken, uh, and, yeah, uh, uh, the, and Injustice. So a couple fighting games. The remake of Final Fantasy XII is out. I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, there! I didn't even know that was coming out. And I'm just, yeah, <laughs> and Jason that, buries his head. All I remember is some dude named like Balorama or something. He had like two gun, <laughs> two guns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what his name was. He had like two gun things, and there was a weird fairy looking chick. I played that game like, and I that's, that's still, Logan's other that other. You, <laughs> is that the bowling alley from The Simpsons? <laughs> Bullerama, at yeah, the Bullerama. That's Logan's NBA YouTube channel. <laughs> Bullerama. <laughs> what was the dude that EA from the EA brought out a couple years ago for EA Elite that never came out? Was it? Oh God! What was that guy's name? Peter Moore. No. Well, yes, that was Peter Moore, who <laughs> now owns there. a soccer team. By the way, he's now a CEO of a soccer team. An, an MLS team? Uh, no, no um, like a Premier, a League, Premier League. League, like a proper Premier yeah. League. Team? Yeah, he's no he's longer that wealthy. <laughs> no, he's no, 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 he's no, he, CEO. Oh, CEO. Yeah, I yeah heard sorry. Owner. Oh, sorry. Okay. I said. Oh, I think I said owner. Yeah. So he's the CEO of a soccer team now over there. So he's not even with EA now. He's out of the games industry. I, he. Whatever the Peters, him and Molyneux. It's just uh, <laughs> yeah, ugh. yeah. So yeah, Balthier was the name. Balthier. See, it wasn't that far off. Balthier, <laughs> Ballarama. <laughs> <laughs> Started with good. ball. That's All right. Um, so we've got a Nintendo Switch in front of us, and Jason has never seen a Nintendo Switch. Here it is. Yeah. It, here it is in the flesh. Um, so this is a. Uh, this looks to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I'm seeing it for the first time here. This looks like uh, a tablet. It's, um, it's seven inches with a. Oh, let me lay my deck on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's bigger than two inches. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, Logan can confirm. <laughs> um, it's I I see that the screen looks okay. Um, I'm holding it now. Uh, it has one title on it, Zelda Breath of the Wild. The yeah, one, that's, that's the, the one you need. Thing. That's yeah. the only thing that's out for it. <laughs> um, mm, it's okay. a Zelda machine. Mm-hmm. The the resolution looks okay. It's 720p. So that's why it looks just... You're also in the okay. menus. The, I think that... Drop the grip. <laughs> so knowing... Um, just being around higher resolution displays, phones and tablets and things that have been in the consumer marketplace for a long time... Um, you know, I see some aliasing that my eyes aren't used to. Yeah. But video games, whatever. Some it's got to be. Life it's it's got to be. This is a hard problem they've set themselves up to solve where they want you to be able to play Zelda for three hours. Yeah. And then be able to dock it. Uh, I see that the battery power has gone down 2%. Yeah, Since it's pretty bad. Really? It's really bad. Oh, like how bad? Like less than. I've, in my experience, playing Zelda less than two hours of battery life. It's always whenever you hear a marketed battery life number, yep. just go ahead and chop it at least by thirty three percent. Yep. And not just Nintendo. I mean it's just any any, phone, any consumer anything. product. Yeah. yeah. It lasts for nine hours. Six and a half. 
Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. So uh, with the battery life, is there a brightness setting or anything that you can do? Like a battery can save? I don't save, know. I haven't really played around with it too much. It, it hasn't affected me yet because, mm -hmm. I mean... I haven't I haven't sat down with the thing in my hands to play it for more than two hours. If I'm playing it for more than two hours, it's going to be I hooked up to my TV anyway. I guess when you played it undocked, so it does um, have a brightness, okay. just like a phone or anything else would. Auto yeah. brightness is on right now. Was it all the way up? It was like it, auto brightness is on. Oh, okay. So I think it'll just, but it was like right here by default. Gotcha. Okay. Um, it doesn't say anything about battery life in here, so I don't know. Uh, so well, yeah, the uh, I guess when you played it undocked, did you play that just to see how it would go, or did you actually have a purpose? I did because I was out of town this okay. past weekend, so it was really nice just to be able to because I I had to leave town kind of unexpectedly, and I wanted to play Zelda, and mm -hmm. it was kind of nice to be able to do that. Yeah, and the other thing is it it does it's just a USB C charger, mm -hmm. so um, I was able to I I actually forgot to take the charger home with me. Mm -hmm. But I, my dad has a USB C phone, so I just use his charger and it worked. Oh, fine. nice! That's crazy that it worked. Yeah, mm, that's nice. So um, I was just cycling through menus here. I just I'm uh, underwhelmed by the screen, but I also understand what I'm what I'm getting into here. Uh, I'm not going to launch Zelda because I don't want to get into Zelda solo. Um, so we've got power, and this is volume up yep. here. Um, so let me show you just the the, oh. the other mode here. On the back, it's got two little switches, and you can just pull out the Joy Cons. You, you just slid those off the side, so they were mounted on the side of the tablet. What's the word for this? Is there a word that's it, not this tablet? Is the switch. This, the switch this is, is the switch. This is the box. Switch. Yes. That's the switch. Yeah. Okay. So the switch. Oh god, we're gonna pick up audio all over the place. Turn I down. turned it up. <laughs> it was down. And I turned it up. I was. Just, I'm just playing with a Joy-Con here because yeah. So imagine. So so try to play with this Joy-Con thing. I mean, like hold it sideways and act like you're playing a game with it. Which way am I supposed to hold it? Like I that. think just like that. So see, I've got the uh, the weird one where the thumbstick is all the way over here. I actually feel more comfortable if I were playing it the other way. Like, I know it seems backwards and, like, left-handed, but I wonder if there's a left-handed mode that you can do. Maybe. So there are games out now that support this. Yeah, I, One, haven't, Switch. I haven't used that at all because I've just been playing Zelda. Zelda. But. So Zelda's, Zelda's a controller on Switch or mm -hmm. on the... What's this thing Yeah, this called? is the Joy-Con grip. Why don't you pick up this little piece of crappy plastic? <laughs> so this is, what I'm looking at, it looks like the form factor of a traditional controller that yeah. hits the market. And then, am I doing this right? So yep. I'm taking mm -hmm. the one on the left and I'm slot... Oh, I'm yeah, ready. Get them on the rails. <laughs> You're already off the rails. I'm off the rails. You're going to wind up riding the rails! Uh, what? I'm... You mm. got this. You, you could do it. I believe in you. Okay. The rails... <laughs> Got it. So there's what he means is there's like a little tooth that slides into the top, mm -hmm. uh, and then hold on. <sighs> there you go. Hold on. Now let me grab no, the other one. Let's try it. this again. Right it's, is it upside? Nope. No, it's right side up. It. So I gotta find it. Make sure it grabs that tooth. Mm. Uh, uh, <sighs> oh, now you're doing ASMR yeah. videos. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, two so little lights are on now. You have <clears throat> the kickstand. Oh. And you can play in tabletop mode. Mm, very good. So this is pretty much the experience that you would have on a TV with the controller. Yep. Or in kickstand mode uh, where the switch is now separated totally. Can this charge uh, in this mode, it, in kickstand mode? Technically, yes. But because the charging port is on the bottom, not without some kind of third-party adapter interesting thing. yeah okay so that seems weird to me that you can't yeah that's I, a little strange which is which i i personally this is my least favorite mode of the switch okay. the tabletop mode. yeah i i would much prefer just to hold the whole thing in my hands 
um, or dock it if I'm. I feel like know. we need to get one two switch and just screw around with it sometime. <laughs> maybe just maybe to we see should. how bad it is. Are these uh, are the games already in rental services? Your I favorite? Don't yes. Know. I would yeah. assume GameFly. Yeah. But Game, I, yeah. we haven't I checked know out for sure. GameFly does yeah. have them. We haven't yeah. checked out Family Video yet, at least. Uh, those of us, if there's anyone out there that understands what a Family Video game right. is, we are in the Midwest and we still have a rental chain. We that have, is successful. We have four Family Videos in this one town we live. In. Yeah. Our town is a hundred. 150,000 people, but... But still, still four yeah. Of them. Before, yeah, four It's got a pizza place attached to it that <laughs> yeah. has helped stay... It, it's an incredible business model. It should have gone away a long time yeah. ago. But we can still rent games here locally, which is crazy. Um, so this is... This is okay. I'm not offended by this controller. Yeah, I, I went back and forth on buying a Pro Controller, but I decided not to just because they're $70, and I didn't feel like dropping that. So have you held a Pro Controller? I haven't, no. Is it in demo and retail anywhere? I don't know. Like, does Best Buy have a Pro Controller out or Game Maybe GameStop? we might. Maybe we should stop by and see sometime. Oh. I, mean, I ended up just playing a, a ton of Zelda with the Joy-Con group. And, and so this is how you played it. Yeah, and that's that, it's good? been totally fine. You're for fine. Me. Yeah. How many hours of Zelda? Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> any idea? Uh, I don't. I don't have any idea. No, a lot. Yeah. So that means like what? Over fifty? Uh, probably not that many. Not like, that many. Over yet. ten though. Yes, so somewhere between probably twenty five and forty. Okay, somewhere in that. Somewhere in there. Wow. Okay, because I've heard it's about a fifty hour game. Um, if you want to we'll, do a lot of stuff, we'll, we'll wait until we actually start talking about games. Okay. Right now we're just talking about the Switch. Yeah, but. that's a good point. Um, so this seems fine. Uh, it seems fine. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I thought I would be because of like the the small nature of it. I thought I would be a little more turned off by it. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, the The only big, big negative for me so far is the battery life. But again, if I'm going to be playing for more than two hours, I'm most likely going to be at my house anyway. So this is a this is a console exclusive machine for you. Yeah, I mean, oh it, yeah, it's not going to be third party. So the horsepower isn't there, right? Especially with the PS4 Pro and now the Scorpio, right? Um, so whatever neat little thing that Nintendo does yeah. and you're pretty much you're pretty much committed to playing it on the couch for the best experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, this how will about, be a Nintendo exclusive machine for me, pretty much. How about horsepower difference between what you see on the 720 display and what you see on the TV? So for some games, I don't know exactly which games are which, but Zelda only goes to 900p on the TV. Interesting. Um I think some other games go to 1080. I'm not sure which ones. But, okay. uh So really, and it's kind of weird too, because with Zelda in particular, it plays a lot better on the Switch itself, as far as frame rate goes, than on your TV. When can, you I start, take, can I take a look at it? Do you mind? Yeah, no, I don't ahead. want to break nope. anything. Nope, you're fine. Any? Load up whichever save you want. Um, you're actually probably going to be at the final boss there. Whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if I'll be. I don't. I don't know if I'll be able to. You probably just this. really want to walk around a little bit. Yeah. I may want to. I don't know. I may try to borrow or... this from you at some point. But um, so the loading time is okay. Uh, loading screen is pretty neat. Yeah. So I'm loading in right now. Am I at the final boss? I'm at Hyrule Castle. So yeah. You're assume. at the final boss right now. Yeah. So um, uh, hit the. Can I hit run the away? Little, hit the little minus button on up above your left. Is this yep. one. And then just Whoa. go. Whoa. Uh, is there like a leave area button? Yeah, yeah, there is. Hit whatever button that, that is. Okay. And then you can just. Gotcha. Then you'll just be out in the open world. You can do whatever you want. I just wanted to take a quick look at this uh, in person. I watched the video you guys did, and it looks nice. It yeah. looks really nice. They they are always very stylistically driven mm-hmm. with what they do yeah. because they know the limitations of their hardware. Definitely. So, uh, I think it looks really nice from what I've seen. Let's uh, run around here real quick, get a good feel for it. I won't re I won't correct your look inversion, but <laughs> oh, you know. yeah, you're so weird. <laughs> so uh, Zelda just kind of loads in like a an electronic blue man there. That's pretty Zelda. Sorry, Link. Yeah, that's yeah, mm-hmm. that's Link. That's Zelda. Link, Link <laughs> Zelda. But we can we can talk a little bit more about Zelda when we start talking about games, but. I, don't, mm-hmm. I guess my question to you guys is, is there any scenario in which you think you'd buy a Switch? I have kids. Okay. And the, you know, they're, I mean, at this point they are playing more iPad style games and phone games. Uh, but at some point, you know, I would almost treat this as an 
entry level console for them because um, my oldest daughter is five. Uh, she, I mean, she'll play around on some stuff on the Xbox, but it's a little difficult where I wonder if maybe we played like a Mario Kart yeah. style game, uh, if that would be a little more her speed. Um, I, I also I saw where um, uh, the new Toe Jam and Earl game is going to come out on here. Oh, and okay. she actually plays my Genesis version of that. <laughs> we hook up the Retron and she'll sit and play that. So we, we've gone through and played a little bit of the Toe Jam and Earl. But, um, so that would be something she might be interested in. So I just That's where I could see some of the more kid-friendly games that Nintendo tends to come out with might be something up her alley. Okay. Jason, what do you think? Uh, I have a smaller child than Logan's. Um, I don't know if... I don't know. Uh, that's a kind of a loaded question. I get Logan had me thinking, like, I don't know how much gaming we'll do with her. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, I think, like, everything in moderation is what my, my father once said that. So as long as she's not it's had this awful addicted problem to video games that I have, um, you know, I think maybe <laughs> we'll play video games. I'm not entirely sure. It's that's, that, that just had me kind of off track. Uh, by myself... I will say that the the scores alone on Zelda had me had me considering. Oh man, do I need to go grab one of these? Do I need to play this right now? <clears throat> I get over that a little bit because you kind of you kind of jump on the hype train a little bit when things come out. Um, but I just got my ass blown up. Um, <laughs> yeah, you probably don't need to. You should probably be in a different area to start out. But. Yeah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> uh, I, to answer that is, I I really Zelda is universally loved by games media games critics and then just the game public. game players the public like it, it whatever whatever is here and we can talk about it and you can spoil the yeah. shit out of it or do whatever <laughs> i don't i don't care there's something in here that i feel like i may never discover if i don't own a switch but i also have to reconcile I have the other two consoles already, and there are a lot of things this year that I want to play. Right. And so I may have to... That's kind of the cool thing about us doing this, is that I get to hear about things that you guys are playing that that I may not, because I may choose to play other stuff, especially mm-hmm. if I'm going to do any kind of capture work for the channel. So that also, that also limits the amount of things that I can try if I'm going to focus on a project for the channel. So... Um, I don't think anytime soon, but maybe maybe someday. But lots of Zeldas have come out and I have not played them. So this was the first time I was like, damn, do I do I need to do I need <laughs> yeah. to look at this? Do I am I am I sleeping on this too much? Am I why don't I have more respect for this franchise? Uh I I don't know. It could be just cuz I'm into for better or worse, I'm into mm-hmm pretty visceral games and those are the kind of things that that i like and zelda hits my eye in that very that unfortunate way the same way overwatch hits my eye Mm. where i feel bad about being honest with myself because i sell those things short because of their style and that's not fair i understand that's not fair but the way it hits my eye is eh, i'll pass like that's the first thing that hits my eye but you love stardew valley (laughs) yeah that's true yeah, that's Stardew Valley just turned my world upside down. Maybe, I don't know what happened. Maybe you're maybe you're a changed man now. Maybe there maybe if Stardew was a gateway drug. I don't know. We're Dude. down to ninety four percent. Yeah, <laughs> you weren't yeah. kidding. Just in this short amount of time. Thank you for showing this to me. I I don't want to hog all the time with my switch impressions, but this is. I think it's a neat little thing. Uh, it's really hard to understand until you see it. Yeah. I now have a way better understanding of what this thing is by spending 10 minutes with it mm. than before I walked in here. These cases are really tiny. Yeah. For the games. Like annoyingly tiny. I also think it's really bizarre that they're carts. They're wow. Cards. Yeah. One last question. Mm. The card is in the Switch. Yeah. Uh, is the game data on the cart? No. Your save. save data is here locally. Yes. And you can't transfer them. So the Correct. save data is whoa, switch proprietary. So yeah, you you can't move your save file to another switch as of right now, even on a micro SD or anything. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. But, but it, it doesn't live on the it, cart. So it, when a cart moves to another switch, the game data does not come with it. Correct. Huh. It, the so the switch, you can absolutely tell that the switch was rushed because of the UI. 
It's extremely minimal. There's nothing to it. Friend, the friend system is terrible. It really? can't move saves. Like, there's nothing there. But I, you know, that that's stuff that can be fixed. You know, that, that stuff can be fixed live, whereas hardware issues cannot. And I know there's, there's people that are having some minor hardware issues with it, too, but... Um, yeah, there's some desyncing of Joy Cons. There. Would you mind um, taking the game out of there? I don't want to corrupt I anything. I don't know how. So I, don't I know. haven't done it. So let me. That uh, says game cart there. Yeah, I just want to make sure there's I don't. Uh, you don't down, have to if you don't want switch, to. I don't want to make you do something you're not. I just was curious to see the cart. Um, let me see if I can. That's just sleep mode. Headphone jack there. I just want to make sure it's completely off. Before. Cooling on top. Yeah. Uh, just a couple other little notes from the from the switch uh, that I picked up on uh, friend codes. So there, you you have to to put out like a sixteen digit code to find a friend. So then you text that code to someone, or you find you another can, like take means a picture of, of it and then you send you it to them. Find and, another means of sending it to them, not not via the switch, yeah, but via and via then, text or email or and whatever. Then, and then they have to go in and add like type out all those codes okay. to get to find you. Um, so look for- at this little guy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Look at this thing. I know. This is insane. That's yeah. a, it's like a 3DS cart. It's 2017. What are they doing? <laughs> uh, Actually, what, do you, what as opposed to what? I don't know. What I mean is like this. I can't believe that this looks as actually as good as it does. And it's on here. All that oh, data okay. is on here on a cart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not when we've gone from big giant brick. I cartridges never thought I would see a cart ever CDs again. To well, now these technically micro they are cards. Not yeah, cards. I just <laughs> a plastic piece. Yes, a plastic piece of something with data on it. Yeah, I just that's that's crazy. Yeah. It's so tiny. Actually, while it's out, I'm gonna put it back in the box. All right. Part of the yeah, just part of the limitations is also part of the amazement to me. Yeah. I do have one question for Caleb, though. Yeah. Stardew Valley Collector's Edition is coming out on Switch. Will you buy it? Will you have What's it on... That? It's it's a collector's edition? It's some weird special edition Isn't thing. Is it coming to all consoles? The, I, but there is a Switch-exclusive piece, I heard. Well, the the one thing that's Switch-exclusive, at least for now, that I've heard is co-op mode. Mm. Which could be really 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 cool jason's borrowed by a switch <laughs> I know, right? you know, co-op mode you almost <laughs> shall we farm um but shall we be ready for I, our grandfather's return in three years i will be buying okay. the game for a third time in some form so, i just don't know what you <laughs> if you two start playing stardew valley on there you, you, do, you guys realize there was a game on facebook called farmville right i mean i don't know if that's the same but you know what logan <laughs> you're just gonna hate you just you, you're not even going to try the game. You're just going to shit all over it. That's I get I it. I get it. Anyway. That's a really poor comparison. I'm just but, kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. I know you. It's much more in-depth than that. Farmville's <laughs> fucking stupid. Anyway, uh, anything else on the Switch? For I kind of, speaking of which, I regret not being able to play Farming Simulator. Oh. I really wanted to try it. I grew up on a farm until I was four, and I don't know anything about farming. And I kind of wanted to go back to my family's Christmas and be like, "Yeah, so how are the crops with the with the treatment and the the harvest?" Oh, you guys use uh, this kind of fertilizer or uh, this kind of pesticide? Yeah, I was ready to like really just lay it on them. So that I, I regret I didn't have enough time, and it looked great. Did you guys see the videos yeah. for it? It looks super it looked, good. Yeah, it looks completely. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's move. What on. are your other regrets from twenty? 20- <laughs> Sorry, I got a ton. <laughs> um, so other news to kind of hit on here: uh, Xbox Game Pass. What the hell's that? So you heard about? I this? went on business. I went away on business for like a week. So know you know on. what PlayStation Now is? No. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. I PlayStation do. It's now. It's the streaming service. It's the streaming right? service. So Xbox Game Pass is the competitor to that. What? I don't think it's a competitor to that. Well, it's it's the it's the answer to that. It, mm, I disagree. It's okay. a it's a different service. It's a completely different service. <laughs> All right. So what you do is is you got you pay ten dollars a month. Will Bond and Kornheiser over here. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you be our third party arbitrator. I guess stat boy? Stat boy, yeah. All okay. right. All right, stat boy. Reality's okay. a handsome man. All right. For ten dollars a month. You can get access to at the beginning at this point. So it doesn't to, come with Xbox Live? No. no. I'm out. Okay. 
Okay, no. Well, the PlayStation Now doesn't come with PlayStation Plus either. So it doesn't? No. God damn. Again, um, bad comparison. Like, go on. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, this is an exact comparison. All right. For $10 a month, you can have access to up to 100 games via back, via for Xbox One or Xbox 360 via backwards compatibility. Limited uh, library, then. Limited library. Same as PlayStation Now. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. But, Keep going. Hold but on. instead of streaming the game, you directly download the game to your hard drive so you don't have any streaming issues point number one it's still the same thing it's, it's just not. it's just a different answer to the other to, my other big th- reason i'm saying mm-hmm. it's not anywhere close to playstation now playstation now is playstation 3 games that's true it is only playstation 3 games and it the, is not P- playstation 4 games this is xbox one, one games right so so playstation now mm-hmm. is the answer to xbox the xbox one's backwards compatibility the Xbox, this thing, I think, is okay, a completely fine. different thing. It's true. That's true. It's different. Okay, so let me rattle off some games for you. So okay. these are pretty much, you have this service, you pay for it monthly, mm-hmm. and then you have a certain on-demand list of games that you get to play whenever you want. Yeah. Did you ever use EA Access? No. Okay. It's the same idea. Same except idea. Except for not just EA games. And has EA Access gone away? No. no. EA Access is still there. Actually, if you are if you do EA Access right now, you can actually start playing the first 10 hours of Mass Effect Andromeda March 16th. I'm concerned about that because they it's said... Like a, it's like five days early. Yeah, but they said uh, it's a, the multiplayer is unrestricted, single player is extremely limited. Mm. So... I'm, that's why I'm not jumping on that. But they've done oh, that in the, the news past. segment yet. We're, We're still all in the news place. segment. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. we are in news. Right. All right yeah, this is all I don't news. know where I'm at. We're all okay. news right now. Right. Um, so some confirmed titles, at least to begin with. There's Hit some, me. There's going to be over 100. Fable 3, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Halo 5, Lego Batman, Mad Max, Mega Man Legacy, NBA 2K16, so the yeah. year prior. Sure. Payday 2, Saints Row 4, Soul Calibur 2, and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So those are just the those are games that are confirmed at this point. They said they'll have a hundred when it launches, uh, late summer, early fall. So this is a later this year thing. Later this year, yeah. Okay. I I think this is a really really cool service. It's not something for me. I you know I play I play stuff that's out. You know that just came mm, out. Yep. And but th- I think this is really really cool, especially like you were just talking about. With your kids, mm-hmm. um, you pay, uh, well, maybe not as young as your kids are, but imagine you have a teenager. Ten-year-olds, like 10, right. 12-year-olds, yeah. You pay $10 a month and they have access to whatever they want. It's, you know? it's the equivalent of buying two full retail price games a year. That's pretty affordable, especially if you are, uh, there are, uh, we, the reason why, I think, I'm just thinking about why we even do this, why we even talk about games, and mm-hmm. because we're three fairly passionate gamers. Mm-hmm. And we pl- like we play stuff, like three adults with a little bit of extra income to just go out and buy a game when we want and play it right away, or you know use a subscription service or rent or whatever. But we get that game in our hands pretty much right away. Right, mm-hmm. and so it's not for us, but it is for the people that are out there surfing, you know, discount stuff. Yeah, cheap ass gamer, you yeah. know, stuff like that. There are plenty of people mm-hmm. out there that love yeah. to play stuff late that is great and get it at a deep discount. They don't um, spend 10 bucks on it, 10, this 20 bucks. brings on it. kind of that Steam feel a little bit to the Xbox console as far as like making something price conscious. Yeah. And oh, can't, I can't believe I already pay this bill once a month anyway. Mm-hmm. I can't believe this is available. I never played this. Awesome. But. We will have already played those games. Right. I would like to see like a, hey, Xbox Live people, like maybe you could trade your games with gold option for a $5 a month to do this instead. Because I, I, mean, I do I, not like the fact that Xbox is now having me. I don't think it's for me, like you said, I guess. So I can't imagine a world where I pay for both. I don't know if you need. I haven't seen a thing where you need gold to do this either. Because there'd be some I don't people, think you do. There, I can see a lot of people who don't have gold who would do this. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to play anything online, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Gold is such a like an automatic thing for the three of us. Oh yeah. You know? mm. So it's cool. It's I don't a cool think idea. It's for me, but right. it's cool. I, I'm glad it exists. <laughs> I think it's neat. Mm-hmm. Thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, Destiny Two was oddly announced. Do, do this... we have to talk about Destiny? I do, this is all I want to talk about. For two... Who cares? Okay. <laughs> you really like you won't play it. I don't care about Destiny. Okay. So this is just all I want to say. You're is not more the, the way it was. Curious? 
No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so here's just the way it was announced was basically like, oh, hey, we're doing Destiny 2. And when it comes out. Didn't, it, didn't we already know that? Yeah. But like, uh, and uh, your, only your, your gear that you earned, all the stuff that you've done. Yeah, none of that's going to carry over. And only thing that's going to carry over your outfits. And people are pissed about it. Why? I, mean, I don't know what else they expect, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things that just people are pissed. I thought it was just interesting. Sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to get everybody's thoughts on that just to make sure I wasn't I wouldn't crazy. expect that to... Look, man, if you enjoy Destiny, like, you're pl- you're not playing it for the goal to be Destiny 2. Right. That's not the goal. You're yeah. playing it to grind loot, to play with your friends, to have fun, to enjoy a game that you like, and that's it. I think they're looking at it like War- World of Warcraft expansion packs. And that you've been developing this character for the longest time, and now everything that you've ever done with that character is gone, except for the outfit that you've worn. It's not an MMO, though. It's it is though. Is it? Yeah. You played WoW. I didn't play WoW. Yeah, it's. It's not WoW. It's not no, and or EQ or whatever else we I, talked about. I, I was so burned on Destiny. <laughs> And yeah, it was not what it was supposed to be to some folks. It's um, it, it just to when when that game came out, it was I think it was something different to everybody, and it was kind of, it just kind of split the middle of what everybody expected or hoped it would be. Yeah, I because yeah, I played the main story of it and called it a day because I I thought the shooting was great, but it was other than that, the game was shit. Right, and I was I was hoping for something more more on the line of borderlands um which it's not even close how is it different than borderlands uh it, the the loot doesn't come often enough the okay. story is not good at all okay um, the borderlands story was strong yeah, borderlands was one enough. did not have a good story at all i don't even remember the, what the story was in borderlands one yeah i mean that maybe that's not a good comparison but it was good it was compelling I mean, maybe it wasn't good, but it was compelling. Okay. Destiny was just... Destiny was had three enemy types. Yeah, it was the <laughs> same mission over and over again. Right. And, you know, at least in Borderlands, you had, like, unique bosses coming up and, you know, yeah. saying one-liners in your face. And right. Destiny was just kind of like... You had the claptrap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess more charm mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. And then Peter Dinklage's delivery on... What was the little robot guy's name? I don't even I remember. Don't I... Uh, you, <laughs> Guilty Spark. I guess I <laughs> right yeah I don't I don't need Destiny two um, I if it, if it comes out and it's getting nines and tens then I might check it out but they'd I mean, have to rework their formula pretty hard for you to be interested in it yeah okay yeah I'm kind of in that I'm I'm curious but I'm I certainly won't run out and buy it yeah. too many other things to play All right. here's the my special story for you Jason <laughs> okay I'm excited for this. There's a new game coming out. Hang on, can I can I frame this? Yeah, you okay. know what? If you've got it in your mind, I want you to do it. If there if there was a Quentin Tarantino movie, okay, that, that deserved a video game adaptation. <laughs> hmm. Which Quentin Tarantino movie would that be? <laughs> There's eight, right? Eight Tarantino movies. Oh, I don't know. I, I think mean, that yeah, officially, but, I think I mean, there's I, eight. I, you start rattling them off. So yeah. I don't know if we'll, I don't know if I'm capable of, of listing mm-hmm. them all, but I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, the, the hateful eight because it was the it's eighth film, recent. and yeah. it is, he hasn't made one since, right? No, right. not yet. <clears throat> so um, then there is uh, Inglorious. No, wait, there's one. Yeah. That, there, so um, Django, Django, Django was in and Inglorious Bastards, yeah. mm-hmm. um, Jackie Brown, Pulp Fiction. Reservoir Dogs, Kill Bill One and Two. Kill Bill One and Two. I think that's. Is that all of them? Maybe we missed something. I think there's one. Does more. Kill Bill count as one? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I mean, I either way, one of those. One of those. One is of it. those. Yeah. So there was already a Reservoir Dogs game. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's out. Um. I guess, like, I, I'm trying to think of a, one that would translate into a game, so I guess Kill Bill. It, it's Reservoir Dogs. It's Reservoir <laughs> there Dogs. There was already a Reservoir Dogs game. But they've redone it. Ugh. But wait, but wait. <laughs> okay. What if I were to tell you that this Reservoir Dogs game is a top-down shooter like Hotline Miami? 
Okay, I'm kind of... I know, right? Now I'm and there. the point okay. of it all, you'll have four different characters, all based on who they are, and you're all going to go in and you're going to rob banks. Awesome. I think, yeah, you just you just turned Jason completely around on that. I lo- uh, uh, anytime a bank is robbed, yeah. I'm totally in. So it's all about... I love Hotline Miami. So it's all top-down Hotline Miami style. You're going to run So is in. it pixel art? Have we seen art? Yeah, there's been a little bit, but... Here, I've got... I've, uh, yeah, here. It's kind of... So it's not pixel art. No, it's not it, pixel is, art. it is 3D art. But it's mm. kind of cartoony a little bit. Yeah. It yeah. looks like uh, kind of like uh, X-Men Legends or Marvel. Yeah. So top-down style. It's going to have a rewind button. Okay. So like if you're... Because it's different when you pop in, you're going to be able to... It's going to be like, okay, Mr. Pink is going to go to the safe. Mr. Green is going to go take the hostages. Mr. Blonde is going to go take out the um, the tellers or whatever else. And that's going to be... And so like if you get to a point where somebody screws up something, you can you can do a rewind go back and kind of do a couple of those things. So it's kind of like the weird, like I fucked up rewind of like Forza. Okay. But in this style of game. Uh, so co-op? Co-op. Or single player? It looks like co-op and single player. And so the reason like why... Online, I, online multiplayer as well. The reason why I ask is because uh, the one game that comes to mind is Payday. And the AI in Payday is fucking atrocious. Well, yeah. it's not from the Payday people. So. does not work. So as long as your three AI guys are uh, reasonably intelligent, they can make mistakes, but they need to be, like, they can't impede your success. As long as they don't mm-hmm. do that, then I'm into it. But I could see how that may, like, those scenarios, like, it would it could potentially fall apart if the AI is not very good. Right. And so it, that's what I'm, at least what I've seen at this point is that it looks like it's going to be, online and single you know local co-op and local single player type stuff so as for what happens from there i'm not sure the interesting thing is is it says it's going to launch this spring on pc and a 20 set later 2017 xbox one version Mm, so pc right away so steam i would assume steam it says it just says windows who's developing it um let me see it's called reservoir dogs bloody days is what the (laughs) official title of it's called um so it's a prequel of sorts it's gotta be. I mean, if you played the movie, that would be a really terrible. <laughs> yeah, movie. it really would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Big stars. Don't you point that gun in my head? <laughs> I've been standing here in the same room for an hour. <laughs> Chris Pine's alive somehow, or no? Chris Pine. Was Chris even, Pine. Chris Pine wasn't Chris even Pine. alive. I don't think when Reservoir Dogs was made, he was been like five uh, years old. Man, um, Chris no, Penn. Chris Penn. Yeah. Uh, so Big Star Games, and I have no idea what the hell they've done. In Great, the developer I've yeah. never heard of. This isn't destined to fail at all. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on this one, but just but the, the idea of it I think sounds it's cool. really good. Yeah. The uh, one last question I have mm-hmm. is: it, Will will there be voice acting? From it doesn't sound like there is, it? and okay. because it basically is just Lionsgate Studio, from what I read, is just saying, "Yeah, here you have the license." Um, so Tarantino, nobody else is involved. It's probably just character likenesses like am i gonna get some madsen art some I, michael madsen art? i don't think so some based Steve on the characters Bishimi teeth that, art i think you're it's gonna be top down i don't think you're ever gonna see their faces mm-hmm. so they're just gonna be guys in suits they're gonna be pretty easy to tell i just have it. such a uh like a those guys are those guys you know like oh, they're yeah. oh man Matson when he's dancing around. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that is it's so hard to watch, but so it's, it's great. Yeah. So basically, nothing from the actual movie, but other than just Stuck like, yeah, so yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all for news. So let's take a break, and we will come back and talk about what we're playing. back and we are just going to kind of talk about what we're playing right now um let's just go straight to the source of caleb who <laughs> plays everything and let's uh let's let's talk about zelda we were already kind of there okay. let's uh let, let's hear where you're at and what you're thinking of it uh i finished the game last night okay <laughs> yeah okay about a week so a week yeah yeah mm-hmm. um so the the cool thing about 
this Zelda is that right from the beginning of the game, actually right after the part we did for the hour with, yeah, um, you can immediately after that you can go to the final boss at any time. So really, it could be a two-hour game, or it could be multiple hundreds. So this hours. is something we'll see speed run. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just a matter of how fast you can beat the final boss you, with nothing. If you if you go to the final boss before doing the other stuff, you're gonna have a really hard time because that he's pretty powerful. Really? But, um, okay. But I, I'm I'm sure it can be done somehow. Otherwise, they wouldn't have made. And it this that is way. this is the usual bad guy, Ganon. 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 Yeah. Just okay. Ganon. Ganon. This time. Not okay. Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Is there is there a Ganondorf hey, or yes. something? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. We didn't talk about something during what? news. Why didn't we talk about it during Real news? Real quick. That, I don't know why that, like, Ganondorf triggered uh, Shadow of War oh, in okay. my head. Mordor Shadow of War. Yeah. Uh, I saw the preview footage that they let everybody have of that, mm-hmm. and it's running on a Scorpio. I don't know if you guys noticed that. No, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. it's going to have all Xbox branding and everything, which I find interesting because they're showing it running on a Scorpio, and that game has a September release date. Yeah, true. Good point. There yeah. has been no release date set for Scorpio. I thought it was August, actually. Oh, it might be August. I thought it was September, but yeah, if it's August, then hell, no, even better. It looked really, all I'm saying is it looked really nice, the footage that I saw, and it freaking better on that Scorpio. I'm pretty hyped for that game. Are you? Yes. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Do you see how the individual Nemesis systems are, like, kind of based on that Warlord's Kingdom? Yeah. So, like, the kingdoms are sequestered, and then you take down almost, like, you take down that network of bad guys... From spot to spot instead of spread out throughout the world. Yeah, something about that really like does it for me. This is it looks just the the well, who knows how the actual game will play out, but if it's anything as dynamic as what it looked like, that's gonna be awesome. Like I they had the yeah, they had the the you had the your buddy that was the sniper. And, like, he saves your life at one point. Like, what happens if you don't have him? Like, I don't you know. just die, I guess? Maybe. I don't, or, like, what happens if you don't have the dude that can knock down the front gate? You, know? you probably have to be very strategic about who you go after and who you right. recruit and how you use them. And that's what I'm really excited about. Like, okay, this guy's, you know, this this is the set of attributes on this fortress. I, I need these things. Let me go find them, and then I'll be ready for it. Right. That's what I'm really excited about. Go ahead, though. No, I was just going to say, I, I hope that that Nemesis system actually becomes more part of the main storyline of the game. Instead of it just kind of being a side part that you can yeah. just kind of do. That was what what I guess I didn't like about the... I, I enjoyed the Nemesis system more than I enjoyed the storyline. Yeah, they game. seem to be almost very similar. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, I think that's a universal thought there. The yeah. Nemesis system is much stronger than the actual storyline. Yeah. yeah, I don't really care much about the story. I just care about how the right. Nemesis system is structured. I hope that they're able to somehow make the combat a little more dynamic because it was like a more forgiving version of the Batman yeah. combat. And we have we have seen that retreaded well, bad, all I mean mm-hmm. everybody did it. So I hope that there's something unique about the way it plays because if it plays the exact same way that Mortar played, then that that could kill the Nemesis experience. But for me. Some of those special abilities they were showing look awesome too so as long as it as long as it all bears fruit right yeah, yeah. so sorry there we go back to <laughs> zelda. zelda speaking of dynamic combat no yeah <laughs> what a, tell, i don't know anything about how it plays um, i don't know what makes it special quick, ganon is the kind of spiritual form of evil in the world of zelda and really? then ganondorf is when he takes a human form really yeah Oh, that's the difference. All right, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole right nope. now because I've got <laughs> questions. We're gonna have to side podcast that because I do have questions. But for now, just go ahead. Uh, this is wait a second. What? But it... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> go ahead. I I really want you guys to both experience this because I can pretty much guarantee this is going to be on my end of the sure. year list. Of course, yeah. yeah. But at the Everyone same time... Everyone else is too. Right, I know, right? Mm. But I will say, for the first few hours, it's... You will be questioning 
why is this game getting tens? Really? This is not what I no expected. Kidding. Yep. It, you really have to immerse yourself in it. And that, that's going to be a hard sell for both of you guys, I know, because... There's almost one, an impenetrable beginning yeah, that you bounce off of. I know you guys aren't, aren't big into Zelda to begin with, and on top of that, you have limited gaming time. So for me to sell this game to you is going to be a really difficult sell. This is me tapping out on the on, <laughs> on the plastic Nintendo Switch Joy-Con grip. But I, I, I gotta say, like, there is literally no other game that I've ever played where there's such a good sense of adventure. Like, you just when you when you get into like a, one of the the settlements, or when you you climb a mountain and you say and you see something down below, you're like, holy crap, this is awesome. There's stuff hidden everywhere. There's so much stuff to experience. I didn't I didn't even scratch the surface on a lot of that stuff. It's just, it, it's it's amazing. It's a really, really, really well done game. So it is what you make of it in that sense? Yeah. Uh, because there's still no achievement or trophy system, right? Right. With this new platform. Yeah. So it is quite literally you just you immersing yourself into this world and getting what you want out of it. And that's pretty refreshing too because yeah, sure. it's, it's basically, like I said before, like you get the quest to go to the final boss immediately as you start the game. So it's really like, what do I need to do to make sure I'm prepared for this final boss? Is there an ear marker on that quest making it clear that don't do this right now? Yeah. Yeah, but it's so available. It basically says, "Hey, here's the final quest, but first you might want to do you might want to do these four things." And then there are markers for those four things. Okay. As well. Yeah. I I I'm, I'm probably like Logan, but I I'm a li- I mean, if we were if one of us is closer to playing it, it's probably me. Probably. Yeah. Um but I will just have to see if there's a <clears throat> if there was a 4 week period. Yeah, where there was nothing coming out, the then, summer might be that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's when I can, maybe I can sneak it in, or maybe I can take like some vacation, honestly, and yeah. try to do it then, because that way I wouldn't feel like I'm so I'm so choked by what I should be doing something else. Right. I should be playing something. Else. You have a save that's maybe like five hours in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just Logan's there. broker and deals. <laughs> yeah, it won't work on his switch. You know. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Damn it! You can't, you can't yeah. just transfer save. I'm trying to think if that would be a smart idea or not, and I, I don't know. I watched you play the first hour, and we got lost. There's no other. So, so yeah, and okay. So immediately when I got home after we after we did that hour, I saw that we totally missed this guy that's just standing there at the bottom of the tower and if you talk to him he says oh hey go here here's where the treasure is i'll put it on your map for you and we just uh, uh, was with you know we did that with last guardian <laughs> where we did our hour with last guardian yeah. and we sat there and we couldn't figure that yeah. out for an hour and once we did it was just like oh well it's a very genuine experience with the games yeah. we sit down we don't prepare it is what people will experience I could, better or worse. I could go on and on and on about Zelda, but I won't. Um, but I just, I really, I really want you guys to experience it. I just, I know it's going to be a really tough sell. So. Why is it? Why? How do I explain this, or how do I ask this question? If I could have you summarize some some way, why is it important to play Zelda this year? It's so. Like I said before, there's never been another game where you have such a good sense of adventure. Like, you really do feel like, hey, if I go over to that mountain, there's going to be something over there. Okay. Or, like, you stumble upon, like, this village or something, and it's a really cool setting, and there's new characters to meet, and there's new shops to go into. And it really, it does not hold your hand at all. So, that's that's kind of the, the biggest problem that a lot of people have with the most recent Zelda games, is that... The first few hours, especially Skyward Sword, which was the one on the Wii, are unbearable because it's, oh, hey, there's a barrel over there. You should go pick up that barrel. You could throw it at this guy. Here's how to throw it. Hey, this is how you do this. It's like, just just let me do it. <laughs> just, okay. Just, you know, take me off Too the Too much hand holding. Yep. And with this game, there's, it's, at first it almost seems like they went too far the other way. Okay. Um, but when they did that, it really opens it up so that when you do find something or you do stumble into something, it's really, really cool because 
you feel like you did it. You found this thing, you know? So, thank you. I have a few other follow-up questions that I'll make you stop talking okay. about. Because I know you don't <laughs> want to get on the... I don't. I know you don't want to go on too long with it. Um, but I... So, explain to me the difference between this game and... Uh, I'm trying to think of two extreme examples here. So, this is an open world game, right? Yeah. Um, quest driven for the most part by the characters you meet. Yeah. So what's the difference between Zelda? This is this 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 edition of Zelda and GTA Five, The Witcher Three, and Horizon. What makes it unique? Because I hear that's what I'm hearing yeah. from you right now. I'm hearing games like that. The one thing that I think is that is a little bit that's hitting me a little bit differently is when you go to an area in GTA V, you aren't necessarily going to meet a character or interact with someone that's not an icon. Like, it's not like you walk into a store and have a meaningful conversation with a character you didn't intend to meet. Mm. Same thing, like, with the Watch Dogs, I guess, and, like, a modern (laughs) open world game. Um, But mm, that's kind of... Nothing is really like that. So is is it unique in that way? It's It's, yeah. Definitely. So you don't go to a marker, you go to a marker in The Witcher, and similar, you may come across people that you have ambient conversations mm-hmm. with, but you still go to that marker. Yeah, it's more of like, so I'm going to put a marker on the town you need to go to, but I'm not going to show you exactly what you need to do in this town. So you're wandering around, you're talking to people, you're trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, there's also like... When you do get into like a dungeon or like a combat scenario, there are just a million options on how to handle everything, uh, and you one one valid option is running away. Like you might get into something and if say, you "Bit off more than you can chew." Right. I I see a guy out there in the distance, and I know that I am not going to be able to kill him yet. So let me go over and do this other stuff first. So let me go see if I can find better armor. Let me go see if I can get some better weapons, or maybe I cook a meal so my stats go up. You know, there's all this other stuff that, and every so it's system, Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> oh, don't, no, yeah, you get your no. Col- you get your Coleman tent out, oh, man. and Link just sits there and he fries up the get your cup noodles, the egg, and the <laughs> yeah. The other thing too that's really unique with Zelda is it, you can climb basically any surface. Uh, you have a stamina meter, so at some point you're you're not going to be able to climb anymore, and you're going to fall down. But if there's just a sheer wall, you can just you can climb up it as long as there's a ledge up there that you can get to to regain your stamina. Um, which I'll 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 transition for us here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> which is something you cannot do in Horizon Zero Dawn, and sure. I keep trying to do it, and I keep getting frustrated. You're it, playing those games next to each other. Right. It's got to be weird. It's, yeah. It's like it, it changes the way that you look at open world games. And you start to see that the that other games that call themselves open world aren't nearly as quote unquote open as Zelda is. So it, yeah, it's that's, almost like reframed my whole understanding of a genre. So I wanted to. <laughs> that's why I wanted to throw out those games that we are. I I I wanted to make sure I was hearing you correctly. What makes Zelda unique yeah. compared to those other open world games that we experience? Um, and maybe that's why people are reacting to it the way they are, or something that is more special about it compared to your traditional, your your GTAs, your Witchers, your right. Horizons, your whatever else, other same watchdogs, whatever. Um, so I was just trying to identify to you what makes it a little bit different than some of those games that I enjoy quite a bit and what makes it different. Um, do you want to talk about Horizon? Is that Let's, next on the list? I, yeah, I think we're all three playing Horizon. It's one game I think all three of us yeah. have in common. Um, yeah. when, when I got over here tonight, uh, I Caleb had it up, and uh, come to find out we are at the exact same spot story-wise. <laughs> yeah. There are two main quests, and we're both at the same exact ones right Percentage now. Percentage-wise, where are you guys at in the overall campaign? So I have only mainlined, and I'm at 25%. I've done like maybe maybe one to two side quests, and Caleb, go ahead. And... I think in the in the story, I looked at the, just the names of the main missions, okay. and I think we're about halfway. Okay, through the, through the main missions. In your level, what you are twenty two. Caleb's twenty two, and you're what Logan nineteen. 
Okay, so you're actually pretty yeah, close. Yeah, we're pretty close. But yeah. he's put in a lot more hours because he has almost every collectible. Collectible. So sure. you're at, what, 33%? Is that what you Something were Something like that, yeah. And, but he has all the collectibles where I have... You think you'll platinum? It looks pretty know. easy. I don't know. If I you're don't... already doing all the collectibles... Then... Oh, there's so many side missions. There though. are. There's a lot of oh, side really? missions. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, you... Like how many are you in total? Like, I think when you just... Have you got to Meridian yet? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, because in Meridian itself, I want to say there's like 12 guys you can talk to to get side missions. You don't have to do all the side missions for the Platinum, but you do have to do, you have to like Gold Star or whatever they call it, every single hunt. Oh, yeah. The which hunting. there's like, I think there's like five or six locations I'm, and they each have three hunts. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that if you're talking in game and you have that super armor, you guys are aware of yeah. the super armor. I'm yeah. pretty sure if you if you're maxed out, yeah, I hunts, think that those are pretty easy. It's my understanding. The hunts it's one aren't of the always, things you, do last. Um, you know, based on that kind of stuff. Though, I mean, there, there, there's some skill shot type stuff in there, because um, I think there's even, I, th I think one of the first ones I did was you have to shoot the can uh, the canisters, the blaze canisters off the back of, um, I don't know, I forget what they're called, the deer, whatever those oh, uh, the, grazers. Yeah, and. The, the gold time is insane, but I think from what I what I understand is I almost think you have to like get them grouped together, like tie them down, and then <laughs> and then shoot the blaze canisters to get them all to blow up at the same time. So this way, when you blow all when they all blow up at the same time, then you blow up that many blaze canisters. Okay. But because yeah, just running around and doing it, it was like holy shit, this is taking forever. Like I'm just trying to hit twelve blaze canisters all at once. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean. Is like there's some st strategy behind it, and there's also going to be a lot of skill behind it. I don't know about you with like the headshot stuff and everything else, but it's not as like I think I'm getting headshots sometimes, yeah. and I'm not. And then other times it's like that shouldn't have been a headshot, and that was and but it counted as a headshot. Yeah, so, it's the the I I think even when you slow down time, I think everything moves a little too fast. Oh, agree. Yeah, there's. Um, it's just, it's really frustrating when you get a shot lined up and then at the last second, you know, you see them dodge away and it's, it's like, come on, let me, let me have some fun with this game. The reticle <laughs> is also just not that precise yeah. for a bow and arrow, which really bothers me. Like it, there's too open of a window of a circle there. It almost seems like there needs to be like a little, it's gotta be smaller and it, that's, that'd be the one thing that at least bothers me about some of the combat in it. Um, I've at least I feel like I finally figured out how to do all the dodge rolls and everything else just to stay alive a lot more, and so it's like double dodge roll. You're on normal. I'm on normal, yeah, and so I'm not having a hard time staying alive. At least where I was, it's kind of toward the beginning. I felt like I was dying a lot, but I think I was going two balls out into people and not being smart about it because I thought I get. I guess I thought my melee attack was a lot better than what it was, and it certainly is not. Right. Um, I was having the missing problems that we were, I think, when we first did that. Yeah, I don't know. Or how we're with. It was weird. Um, I'm not having those issues. Um, <clears throat> I think the, uh, the I don't know about you, but when I got to the Deathbringer, there's a thing called the Deathbringer. Okay. Um, Tell I had, me more. I had no health. like, And I had no potions left, uh -oh. no medicine left. I don't know how I pulled that off of beating that thing. I went in with like 200 health and that was it. Because I the um, the corruptor before that just destroyed me. <laughs> I I didn't have any trouble with the Deathbringer. At all. I didn't either. But the, and that's the thing. Like I thought I was going to go into it with nothing, like and not make it. But yeah, what was I, your primary weapon? It, so the most broken part about that game was the whistle. I don't know if you use that. I use it. Yeah, plenty. You can so you can go into the tall grass and you can whistle, and sure. then one enemy will come over and you can stealth kill them, mm -hmm. and you can really abuse that. Yeah, just sure. stay in the same spot and then clear out an entire camp just standing in the same spot whistling at guys. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did there. And then all I had to do, I went behind the thing. And then every time it, it put one of the canisters up, I shot it and it did massive damage. Oh, see, I uh, and, I actually went, I, I got attracted all the guys and then ran backwards and jumped up on top of the cliff that I was at before. So they were all trying to like get me from the bottom and they couldn't jump up. So I just picked them all off <laughs> while they were sitting down there. And then I just ran across um, to, there was like a, a thing up top and a, with like basically a board 
there and you'd think the guy's firing tons of missiles and guns and everything. It, it would never break the board. And I'd just sit back there and I was just <laughs> shooting a bow and arrow at the gun on the far right side and it was doing really good damage. I so. think it took four shots to take it down if you hit the canisters. Oh, see, so yeah, yeah. And I was, um, I'd say it, it maybe took me about 20 fire arrows okay. and that was it. Where a corruptor, holy shit, those things don't come down. <laughs> yeah, I know. Those things are bullet sponges like no other. I mean, bullet arrow sponges. And, and I... I've tried tying it down. I've tried... Aren't there guns in this game? Later? Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind of. There's kind of like a weird shotgun type thing. Okay. Um, that you can buy right off, but I don't... I've never I've never bought it. Have you? Mm-mm. I don't know. I've just kind of... I've stuck with the bow and arrow and uh, um, the rope caster. I've, I've, I really like the rope caster now that I've got it. I just got that and I, I've just started to try it out. I mean, like I said, you can just basically start tying them down and then you... that That's actually more... Well, I don't know if it's that effective. It makes the game more enjoyable. Um, yeah, because you don't always have something right in your face. That's That's been my problem with this game is like... Give me a little bit of space here, because yeah. you have a bow and arrow, and yet there's always something right in your face. And yeah, it just, it gets I'm just really constantly dodge roll, dodge roll. Like yeah. as to say, it's dodge roll, dodge roll, shoot, shoot, dodge roll, dodge roll, shoot, shoot. And it's that's the only bad thing is too. I feel like that. I wish there was some time where I could get like one of the bigger things a little more isolated, because it's like, oh yeah, I saw like three behemoths. I'm not gonna go take on three behemoths. Right. I will take on one, but. I can't take on all three. Even even two sawtooth are nearly impossible to take down by when, when you're by yourself. I mean, you can go up and try to lay down as many trip casters as you can and everything else, but if the trip the trip caster only seems to work on the sawtooths and other things because I think what is the the not reavers there. And the trip caster isn't the weapon that you lay down like just a straight rope. It's, yeah. yeah, that's the trip caster. The rope caster is the thing where you shoot at them and then you put a stake in the ground and it. And that kind of pins them down. And then as they try to break free from it, then that'll rip off parts oh. as they're trying to break free. So that also keeps them stationary so you can yeah. fire it's, away. It's not like fully stationary because they've got a little bit of room to work. But as they wriggle around yeah. and try to – because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break away from it. And then when they, when they finally break away from it, then the components will fall off. And then that exposes a different core that you can just start laying into, mm. which I find as usually just fireworks pretty well. Cool. Yeah, I, I think overall, I think I, I am enjoying the game. I don't think I love the game, but I think I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of the same way. I like it. I don't love it. But, um, you know, for the – there's at least I feel like – it's because now you and I are at least at the point you've scaled the giant thing. Yeah. So there's – the story has picked up. Right. That's, there's, I was just going to say – There's that. some explanation of what's gone on. It, it's starting to kind of get there where I felt like there was some time. <laughs> Jason's nodding his head like, finally. Okay, I'm just interested in – Because there's, yeah. there's some time between the proving and right. then up to where we are that is kind of low, like on story. And I felt like I was just kind of running around doing nothing. Mm. Yeah, and it's kind of concentrated more on the like the tribal warfare that's going on in this world, and that's not the part that's interesting. <laughs> right. And now I feel like we're at the part that's interesting right. of why we're all why are these giant robot creatures here? Who is your mom? What are you gonna do about it now? Who is your mommy? And, and what, what does she, she do? <laughs> and well, you kind of find out who is your mommy and yeah, what does she do. So about halfway through the game, you. Yeah, maybe I don't kind know. Of. Yet. I, it's I don't it's know. at least better than what we knew. That's and that's that's why I'm kind of intrigued, and I want I really want to finish this game before it's spoiled for me because I feel like that's only a matter of time. I agree. <laughs> Which, by the way, go see Logan before it gets spoiled for you. Mm. Um, <laughs> I will go see it again with you. It's a um, good movie. <clears throat> um, this podcast brought to you by Logan. Um, yeah. <laughs> where are you at, Logan, hours wise? Um, you know, there's not an hour to count on there, at least that I can see. So I would you guess, if I, I mean, if I'm guessing, uh, 12 to 15. You, Caleb, and Andy? I think probably 15 to 20, somewhere in there. Okay. But he's been doing collectibles. Yeah. So I, my guess is, I would say maybe on the lower side of that, so probably more like 12, because if I'm looking at how many hours I actually sit down and play at a time. It's not that many. I mean, I'm playing for an hour, hour and a half at a time. Right. Um, I'm um, I'm in the danger zone with Horizon. Are you going to drop it? <laughs> Maybe. I don't really like it that much. Mm. I really wish I did. I know. 
I wish I liked it more than I do. So it's where are not you? doing it for me. <laughs> it's not doing it for me. I, I'm mad at myself because I feel like there's something wrong with me. <laughs> well, no. Um, I mean, it's where are you story wise? So I just I, I if and forgive me if I'm getting some of this wrong, but I just um, I found the the war chief who had the son. Okay. Who, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So I I did that and then I went into a temple of of machinery okay and um i rode some machines to a boss i think it was a side quest yeah that's so okay. i i, I, I rode it yeah. <laughs> i rode it around and and then there was a boss kind of in the center of it and i had so to override some stuff maybe what i would suggest is do the main story up until you climb to the top of the tower okay uh and if if you're still not intrigued after that story stuff then just then it. i would stop yep so I would follow the stuff with Olin. I feel like I'm a little under leveled for the main story. Though. It might be. That's what, I think maybe that's what sent me on the side quest track. What be. level are you? Uh, Twelve or thirteen. You know you're not. But when you go and do all the, the when you start to do all that stuff, yeah. I didn't do any side quests. Okay. So I, I yeah, actually, the only side quests I've done is some of the bandit stuff, bandit camps. And that's just because they're on your way. Yeah. So, I, I, actually, when I think about it, I haven't done anything, and I had, haven't really had any problems. Um, I mean, other than the damn corruptors, but those corruptors, I think, are meant to be a pain in the ass. So, but yeah, once you start that, um, what is it? That what was that area called? Oh, I don't. I it's, can't keep what, the areas. Either way, if you start doing um, Ol- follow the Olin track of stuff, because there's the Urson stuff, and then there's the Olin stuff. I kind of did in parallel, um, but the Olin track is the more interesting of the tracks. Mm-hmm. But you Good. still might want to do them back and forth just to keep the levels where they should be. But that'd be my recommendation. I also have a shit ton of fast travel packs, so if that's something that just running around is annoying you, yeah, fast I could travel packs. Pretty there easily. is an infinite fast travel pack as well. You can oh, get. yeah. Okay. You, uh, I don't know. How do you? I have like do you seventeen have the blueprint for lack of a better description. A blueprint for that right away. You just uh, there's one merchant that sells it. That's okay. Oh, I'll find that guy. Yeah, it, it does require. I didn't have. It requires a fox hide, and I don't have any fox hides, so I do have to go kill some fox foxes. Fox. Yeah, there's a permanent <laughs> mount foxes. too, like permanent fox. Fox die. Uh. <laughs> Um, La le, 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 le. Uh, right. So, I guess you guys have given me some hope, but the <laughs> things that annoy both of you about it, like, really drive me crazy. Not to the point where I'm very calm about it at all. Like, I'm in my head, the little voice in my head says, I fucking hate this. <laughs> this is dumb, and I don't like it. And I, wow. I'm, I'm... I just I don't I don't know whether maybe maybe it's just me I think that I think that the I think the combat like the 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 what do you call your, what are your whatever your melee combat is sphere yeah sphere. sphere yeah that is weak as all get out it's terrible mm-hmm. it's nearly unacceptable and the I'm hoping that you can upgrade your character to the po- point where your bow tightens up and combat becomes more dynamic and I haven't unlocked a lot of potential. But I think some of that stuff needs to be introduced right away. There needs to be a big bombastic moment within the first couple hours of Horizon that is not there. Yeah. Where it even like do the old thing where they give you all the abilities and then they strip them (laughs) away. Like Mm -hmm. do something like that where they've done with Kratos and other games or Dante Mm -hmm. where... Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was awesome! It blew my hair back, and then work towards that again. Because right now I'm just like I'm hoping all hope that that the bow and arrow gets tighter. Yeah. That the that there's something else there to grab me to make combat more interesting. Because just firing an arrow with a so so over the shoulder third person shooter that doesn't feel very good is yeah. not doing it for me. So I, I'm hoping that I'm hoping there's something else there. I'm not gonna stop, but if Mass Effect comes out by the time that I, that's probably gonna be it. Like if I if Mass Effect comes out and I'm still feeling so so on Horizon, we'll play. It you guys time. take care of it. Like you guys can. Yeah, I'll have time to play. Yeah, it next week. and maybe you can see kind of maybe I'll see what you're doing too and see what 
maybe there's a little because I feel like I I understand the combat now, and maybe yeah. that's another part of it too. That maybe it's gear, like you're talking about the rope caster. Yeah, maybe it's things that I haven't you, unlocked. When you upgrade your gear, it gets a lot better. So, well, here's the one thing: I haven't upgraded anything on my bow. Oh, okay. So you I haven't bought any other. No, oh, okay. I have stayed with the same bow. I bought a different mm, bow that wow. has. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like your bow. Oh, I, I I really like it now. You do like it now because yeah. it was slower to. It's slower, but it. It blows stuff off of them, so it exposes their weak points. Oh, but that's, um, that's, yeah, because you can get the terror arrows. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, because, yeah, you, like, you can get terror arrows that blows things off of things. Got it. I haven't done that yet. Um, well, actually, I just got an upgrade to my bow that I can do that with, so, that, but I just haven't shot anything with it yet. Yeah, I think I got that, um, it's an upgrade for your bow, and but it works for any bow. It's one of the oh, purple okay. ones. You just add it to it, but I, I'm keeping the my existing Karja bow that I, you started the game with. Okay. It looks really nice. Yeah. Oh my god, that game looks so good on my TV. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Logan kinda... has the 4K, the proper, the <laughs> yeah. proper Horizon setup for all their marketing. Yeah, the full <laughs> HDR PS4 Pro nonsense. It's. I mean, Caleb came over and looked at it. It was kind of a bad area to take a look at it in, but I mean, like when you were panning around with the camera, like it's it seemed to have some weird motion blur when you moved the camera. But I don't so, know if that it's was so buttery smooth though when you get used to playing it. Like it's it's probably just the way it hits your eye. Yeah, and probably plus you've been used to playing. Yeah, it. if you're playing it at thirty and that's at sixty. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it was. I, I don't, don't know, know if it was some kind of post processing on the TV that was bothering me or I don't know. I don't See know. now when I was sitting here watching you play a minute ago, I was like, God, that looks like garbage. <laughs> like it was just kinda of like it's sort of framey and that's that's the way I yeah. saw it with my eyes. So it's probably just what you're used to. It's like here's how you started the game, here's what so you saw this weird motion blur thing that annoyed you and I'm thinking this yours looks really frame framey, but yeah. Anyway. So um, yeah, I'll, we'll see if you want to continue with Horizon or not. There's nothing else out right now, You know right? what? There might be. I'm gonna. I'm just the king of segues tonight. Uh, there might be something. <laughs> oh, tell me more, sir. Does it come with steak knives? Uh, so let me introduce you to a little game called Near Autonomous. Come on. Come on, I was relying on you. Automata. Autonoma. Autonoma? It's not automata. It's automata. It's automata automata. If I may. <laughs> All right, so... I'm only like an hour in, but it's really cool so far. We're pronouncing this incorrectly. This is Nair. Nair? Nair colon Automata. Okay, got it. Nair Automata. <laughs> All one word. Nair um, Automata. Automata, Automata. So, so tell me about it. Do you... How do you it came feel... came out this week, right? Yeah, or did, last week? Uh, Just a few days ago. We'll call yeah, it. a few days ago. How... You've, you've played, like, Devil May Cry, Ooh, right? Love me some yeah. Devil May Cry. Uh, you like the combat of Devil May Cry? Love Devil May Cry. I think you might like the combat of Nier. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Is there blood? Um, It's robots that you're killing. I'm so, out. At least so far. Oh, he's so. I'm out. Jason hates aliens and robots. <laughs> yeah. I can't, can't I, I do can't, it. I mean, I'm only, like, an hour in, so maybe there's people. There better be blood. I'm not sure. That's one of those weird things that if the, just, sorry, mm-hmm. we're just going off on tangents tonight. Um, when Devil May Cry 1 came out, the, the enemies were like demons. So they were like organic and they were made of like human, whatever, like human parts and like, there's just like blood everywhere. And the second one came out and there was like no blood <laughs> and it took away from the visceral experience of the game. So like you would put the first one side by side and like just splatters and gushes and then just little sparks. Coming yeah. off of these like metal enemies in two, and, and that wasn't the only problem with two. Yeah, there was that big. Di- there was yeah. just a very like visceral like. There's something missing here. I re- I don't know why that struck me. Today's word of the day is visceral. Yeah, visceral. Brought brought to you by Jason. <laughs> um, so I, it is robots. It's so far as robots. You play as a robot too. Oh, um, but it's. Did you play Bayonetta at all? I did. Okay. I played one. So this is, I would say it's actually more like Bayonetta mm. than, okay. than Devil May Cry. But Bay- Bayonetta one's pretty good. It is. Yeah. It has, it has witch time, where if you dodge the last possible second, right. you, get, you get your time. It's it's a platinum game, so you oh, get, you get oh, platinum That stuff. explains it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, man, it's... It goes from crazy to crazier, like really, really fast. There's this, there's this giant boss. You get a mech suit. 
you're like the really cool part about this game is no matter what camera style it is because the camera changes constantly Mm. but the controls always stay the same so you're you're three you know you're three quarters behind the shoulder for a little while and then it'll go to a top down so you're you're literally like but you're doing the same combos and everything it's just your the camera is from the top down and then it'll go to like a mech so you're in a mech flying around Mm. then it's it's part shmup for a while where you're like dodging you know, bullets coming at you. It's it's crazy, and it just switches this stuff constantly, so you're always on your toes, but the controls always stay the same. So no matter what style you're in, you know exactly what you need to Sounds do. Sounds pretty visceral. It's <laughs> it's really, really cool. <laughs> I, I think, I, I, I want to say you might like this game. Okay. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll check it out, or maybe I'll switch over to that. Maybe we should do a segment on that. Yeah, hmm. probably should. Mm. Yeah, because I'm having trouble picturing it. Yeah. You played the first Nier? Yeah. Logan, the, no? No. The first Nier is, has one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best stories in any game. It has an awesome story. Really? But um, the combat is terrible. Was that last generation? It was 360. Okay, 360 PS3, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I remember um, uh, a friend of ours, Derek, played Nier and was talking about really? how much he liked it Yeah, at the time. Hmm. He just went out and bought a random game. This dude never read reviews. He just... Like, this box art looks cool. He was like a NES guy in yeah. that way. And oh, man. Went and bought it and uh, really liked it. Um, I was uh, going to look at the uh, the way it's reviewing. But uh, in 89? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so much Horizon Zero Dawn, so. Holy crap. <laughs> Zelda. Oh, man. Zelda took a point hit. Is it 97? Oh, yeah, it's a 97 now, guys. Oh, man. That was me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the master of unlocking is all the way down there on the in the yellow. It's when, I didn't play this game at blue professional outlet. Yeah. <laughs> outlet. Okay. Wildlands came out, huh? Yeah. Didn't know anything but no, no We checked out the beta. That. Um It's right where Logan said it would be. It's a 76. Oh, it is. Yeah, Cuz it started the hot and then I was like, yeah, I don't think that game's going to end very well. I was like, it's going to be like mid-70s. It's okay. That's okay. I would I would have given it a, probably a 7. So, okay. yeah. That's about, it's fine. It's totally it's fine. It's fine. Just not something I'm going to play more I think of. there's a, there's people that love love Clancy games. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. will, like, maybe they're done with the Division and they're ready for Wildlands. I might check that out later in the year if there's a lull. And then also when no, just I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. This is the guy who you're going to spend the next, like probably. Yeah, but, but I'm always looking for a good co-op game, yeah, and this sure. looks like it might fit. That. Yeah, it could fit that the way that the division did for you. Yeah, I can no, see that's that. Right. Yeah, you got a friend across the country that yeah you like to do some co-op stuff with. So right. Um, one other just weird thing about Horizon, I I wrote this down. I forgot to bring it up. Did you talk to the guy in Meridian? Uh, it was a side quest thing. I always go and talk to him, but I, I never do the side quest. Um, he actually he said he's like when you see them, you get to their house, you give them the old Bannock something, and I don't even remember what it was, but um, whatever it was was this Bannock. Yeah, it was uh, what he said was he goes you go find the deepest darkest corner in their house and you piss on their floor so this way it just smells terribly sour and they never know where it's coming from. <laughs> no, you don't remember that. Huh? No, you did. What's this random side quest guy? I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, yeah, it's pretty hardcore for Horizon. Actually, just, there's been a couple things with Horizon that have just been like, wait, wait, what? Like, okay, like they throw in a couple one liners. That's where, like, if you were talking to someone on The Witcher, they'd be like, decapitate him and eat his tongue. Right, and, but instead, it's like piss in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it is really funny though because he's, he's like a little bit of a sour dank smell that they'll never know where it's coming from sour dank <laughs> okay <sighs> oh. so anyway um, obviously we're kind of all wrapping up Horizon at least at this point and then next week um, next Tuesday right where you guys will, you guys will be dipping into Mass Effect and yeah. Ramada that's a purchase for you right Kelly? oh yeah 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 okay. for sure um, do you max those out as much as you can, or you just kind of do it the, until you're done? The other, th- the other ones I did, um, uh, except for the hardest difficulty, because I'm 
not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, why but, would you? And the multiplayer stuff in 3, I didn't really touch that much. But It was actually okay. Yeah, it, it's fine. Yeah. yeah, It's just I'm, I'm not a multiplayer guy. Sure. So they, yeah. not I was surprised when I sat down and played that with right. friends. I was like, this is totally right. passable. Yeah. I did play a little bit, but not, not, not enough to get achievements for it. Right. Um, but I was looking at the list for Andromeda, and I... I think I'm just going to ignore the list and just play it. That's how I, as, as weird as, 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 as plagued as I am by achievements and trophies, that's how I play Mass Effect games. Yeah. I've always been able to just mainline them and just not it. look at them. That's kind of the one, that's my sweet spot for Mass Effect. And it's the, it's one of the, now I've just started value, we talked about that, but it's one of the rare instances where I can actually just sit down and enjoy a game. Yeah. The story telling is just, it's so strong. Yeah. Yeah. The experience is what it's about with yeah. those games. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it too. What else, Logan? Oh, well, so I, I guess I was kind of wanted to just talk about, yeah, what well, everybody's going to play next. And so, yeah, for you guys, it'll be Mass Effect. Uh, for me, as soon as I'm done with Horizon, I'm going to finish up uh, Hitman. Oh, good idea. Because uh, I have only, uh, I only did really the first map in Hitman, the Paris map. So uh, I'm going to actually. It's the best one, though. Yeah, just, just so you're aware. I heard, really? I, just, I heard Hokkaido was pretty good. I loved Paris. I did it. None of the other ones hooked me as much as Paris did. Okay, I just you know these are just things you hear um, in passing. But yeah, that'll probably be what I end up messing around with. I got a lot of stupid work stuff coming up, so I'm kind of uh, well, I'm like depressed that I'm not going to be able to play a lot of games at this point. Ah, uh, this isn't our real job. <laughs> Bummer. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I know. This is just I would be more than an hour into Yakuza Zero <laughs> if that was the case. Oh, yeah. What is there anything else you're you're skipping right now like that? Because um, I'm kind. I would like to play that too. I know, right? It looks cool. Uh, probably, but I have to look at a list. There's only only so much time in a day. So. Right. Right. And I have to say, I looked. I kind of just beforehand. I took a quick glance at the at the games coming out list and. You know, I think for so once Andromeda hits, we're pretty much done. Uh, Persona, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Persona. Persona is the first week of April. To consume my life. First week of April. I want to play that. I don't it's know if I, hours, right? I don't know if I can, but want to play just, it. Just, just do it. Just don't. There's don't nothing. worry about it. If if you something else comes up, drop it. Just just. just just play it with me. I need somebody to talk to this game, to talk about with this I, game. The only thing <laughs> is, I guess, you know, I'm looking at... Is the, that on... Wait, what platform? PS4. Okay. It's on a current one. Uh, okay. It's, for, it's, on, it's also it's on, on PS3. It's on PS3, but for some reason I had it in my head that it was only a PS3 game for a second, yeah. and I was like, I'm not hooking up my PlayStation 3. <laughs> Does no way. Did yours die on you? No. Nah, well, temporarily, but then it was fixed. Oh, okay. I worked... <laughs> I worked at a major video game retailer. Yes. Um, and you may have stopped in. <laughs> you may have stopped in at the time you were gaming. Um, I uh, I had mine die, <laughs> so I traded it in to the location that I was currently employed at. <laughs> bought it, returned it. And said it didn't work, and I needed them to repair it for me. <laughs> Shipped it off. Nice. Repaired back. Sold it to myself. <laughs> and now it works fine. It's louder, but they repaired it for me because I bought it from them. Nice. Boy, that person that traded it sure did pull the wool are over we, GameStop side. <laughs> are we doing? Are we doing awful GameStop confession Game stories? confession. Because I have one. Go two. ahead. Oh no. <laughs> Go ahead. So, like everyone else, my 360 red ringed, mm-hmm. and I did the towel trick to get it to turn on for 30 seconds sure. and traded it in while yep. it was still working. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> no, that's fine. Everybody did that. Everybody did that. They aren't able to test HDMI, so I had. Two, well, I, a total of four 360s, but only two at one time. Mm-hmm. And I I was unplugging the back of my HDMI one day. This is the one I traded for my Xbox One. And the prongs in the system got bent. Mm-hmm. And so the connection, the HDMI connection was bad, but I knew they don't test HDMI. They test the component thing in the store. <laughs> so it was like, this looks great, doesn't it? Works fine, man. Sure does. Sure does. <laughs> Go ahead. Turn that around and sell it. Yeah. Somebody, Don't buy a used system. Somebody's going to return doing? that. Like Don't the same buy a used system. That's fine. Don't buy a used system. 
ever. I saw ever. where there was a a local um, resale shop. They were selling Wii U's for one ninety nine. What like, the what? Yeah, one ninety nine sell for a Wii U. They were like, "Yeah, hey, you New Zelda, you can still play it on a Wii U." It's like, nobody's gonna buy a Wii U for one ninety nine. <laughs> what are those MSRP at? I think it's still two forty nine. Two forty nine, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you can find one. I don't know. Morning. Maybe that's how. It doesn't make sense to us that follow it, but maybe it makes sense to them. And this is probably the kind of place that only schmucks buy things from. So, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe they just. They have they have reasons for the way they price stuff, and they just bet that they're gonna get somebody on it. I bet mm-hmm. I, they try to make the most money out of that stuff. Buy a Wii U, you could play Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, and Breath of the Wild. You've already halfway sold me one Nintendo Man. console tonight. You're not gonna sell me. Just do Mario one. Maker. Mario Maker's fun. Nah. Yeah, cool. I liked Mario Maker. A I liked Mario Maker too. <laughs> All right. All Holy right. jeez. Wow. All right. Should we just go to bed? I don't know. All of us all right of us, now. All of us in the same bed Hot. together. I like it. Let's all go. Right. I only have a twin bed though. <laughs> really? Even better. <laughs> Even better. That's a lot. <laughs> no, I was like, I guess I've never, I've never gone upstairs to see like, 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 it's just like shocking. Like, you only have a twin bed. Upstairs? We are gonna bunk bed without bunks. How's that sound? Huh? Yeah, yeah that pretty works. good. Like, oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> How did that remind you of something? I don't know why. Okay, remember I was telling you a couple weeks ago, I was like, I've got this great idea for a video game. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, say it here. Somebody's going to steal it. Uh, nobody's going to steal this because <laughs> it requires so much licensing. Great slash awful. <laughs> so I'm picturing a 2D fighter with like you know nice backgrounds and stuff and everything because like these are going to have to be pretty... As opposed to bad backgrounds. Well, no, like... These are gonna be these are gonna be backgrounds you know, because this fighter is gonna be called TGI Fighter, and it's gonna be all characters from ABC sitcoms of the nineties. <laughs> Jason just left. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm still here. I'll see you later. <laughs> but instead of instead of a fighter, why can't we have something more like in the spirit of TGIF, like no, something co- that, cooperative? No, I think yeah, that's yeah, the. Branch. That's the point is that it's like they can fight each other and like the background can be like the full house, like the main room that you see. And then like you can have like, you know, Danny Tanner can like fight with cleaning materials and like John Stamos can fight with his hair. And then you can have like you can have Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen have this weird like twin power thing. So like Michelle can come out and she can be like two people. Okay. You got a ranch? Yeah. Okay. But you can do like stuff from Family Matters because you got Carl Winslow. He's a cop. Oh, man. I don't know. I think I might be out. I Tell think me. I might be out. I'm telling you, the licensing deal would be amazing. You could get Is all this kind... vegan cheese in here? <laughs> <laughs> you think it may, may hang out with Mr. Cooper? Mr. Cooper could throw like basketballs at people? I they made vegan cheese. <laughs> what? There's vegan cheese in here. Vegan cheese? Yeah. How do you make cheese without dairy? I don't. You can? It's in your fridge. It is? Yeah, so anyway, okay. there was the, yeah, you, you do, uh, I'm trying to think of like how you would do Boy Meets World on top of all that, but like, I mean, there's so many things. Steve Urkel could, would be a great fighter for all of this. Look, I think his power up could be he'd go into that weird machine and then he could be uh, Stefan uh, Arkell. Just from Schnucks. Yeah, he would be, yeah, he goes like, he can come out and be Stefan Arkell, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm back in. You're back in. I'm back yeah, in. I, I like. I'm, as I'm like. As I'm starting to think about this. There's like. There's so many things like that you could do. I mean, Full House's character lineup is amazing to begin with. Yeah. You start. I mean, you just you can take a couple people from Family Matters. You take a couple people from, you know, like hanging from hanging with Mr. Cooper. You take. A, I think you could even. I think you throw in Home Improvement. I don't think it was ever on TJF. No. Yeah. But but. Yeah. Well, There's a, like Al Borland and, and Tim Taylor. Like they've got. Yeah, those would be some great, really good characters right there. Okay. All right, let's okay. go to work on this. All right, let's get to work. You get the licensing, and I'll, and you know, and then then I'll come in after that. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, that's been Master of Unlocking podcast number two. Thanks for listening. Enjoy some cheese with your ranch, vegan cheese, vegan cheese. Oh, it's cheese mayonnaise. taco, cheese taco, delicious, delicious. Are you all ready to sing this song? Okay, then let's do it. <laughs> Warm. Let's go do the booty dance so we don't get too fired. So before we blow up, uh, 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 up, we gotta get up. 
a pants of soap. Pull your pants down, show your butt, and now go poop. Now in my face. Cause your booty's in the face, it's in the poop in the face. Cause no matter what they do, but they're never to face. But we never eat candy, just eat what you ever we have. Cause we we'll take your booties off and then poop in their face. Cause eat all much food you want and cause poop in the face. Do it the day. Come on over if you have to go poop, poop in their face.